Russia and Ukraine exchanged over 100 prisoners each on Saturday, the Russian military said. According to the Russian Defense Ministry, the 103 Russian soldiers had been captured in the Kursk region, where Ukrainian forces launched their surprise offensive into Russia two weeks ago. Footage released by the Russian Defense Ministry showed Russian military personnel on a bus traveling through an undisclosed location. The United Arab Emirates said Saturday it helped mediate the prisoner swap, putting the overall total number of prisoners exchanged at 206. The Emirates Foreign Ministry put the total number of prisoners swapped in UAE-mediated talks at 1,994. Здорово. Я не ожидал, что я вообще за это приеду. Все хорошо. Прям настроение бомбовое, прям стало. Не знаю. Еще не могу даже прям, признать это еще. Эмоций еще много. Даже не знаю, как сказать это. Все, все здорово, супер, все. Спасибо. Появилось такое облегчение сразу на душе. Уже понимаю, что я поеду домой, уже все позади, что уже не о чем переживать. The death toll in the aftermath of a typhoon in Vietnam climbed to 233 on Friday as rescue workers recovered more bodies from areas hit by landslides and flash floods, state media reported. Flood waters from the swollen Red River in the capital, Hanoi, were beginning to recede somewhat but many neighborhoods remained inundated, and farther north experts were predicting it could still be days before any relief was in sight. Typhoon Yagi made landfall Saturday, starting a week of heavy rains that have triggered flash floods and landslides, particularly in Vietnam's mountainous north. Across Vietnam, 103 people are still listed as missing and more than 800 have been injured. The United Nations Children's Agency, UNICEF, said the storm and its aftermath has also damaged some 550 health facilities, 800 schools and more than 100,000 homes, while leaving more than 3 million people with no access to safe drinking water. It said it is working with the government and other partners to deliver bottled water, purification tablets, filtration systems and other emergency aid to the area's hardest hit. British Prime Minister Keir Starmer arrived in Washington on Friday for talks with President Joe Biden that will include Ukraine's request to use Western-supplied weapons against targets inside Russia. 
Starmer said on his way to the US that Britain does not seek any conflict with Russia. Russia started this conflict. Russia illegally invaded Ukraine. Russia could end this conflict straight away, he told reporters.